COVID insanity may never be going away. The White House suggesting that it's okay for kids to eat their lunches outside in cold temperatures as a pandemic precaution. I will tell you, I have a three-year-old who goes to school, sits outside for snacks and lunch, wears a mask inside, and it's no big deal to him. I'm not saying that's the case for everybody, but these are steps that schools are taking to keep kids safe. And I think the vast majority of parents appreciate that. Mm, I wonder what a three-year-old can afford to wear outside that other three-year-olds can't. Business owners in New York are also blasting the governor's new mandate that requires workers and customers to wear masks indoors or show proof of vaccination. Now, California is launching its own slew of mandates, including indoor mask wearing. All right, Dana, there's a lot of people that, you know, that are very skeptical about the they don't trust the government for various reasons. And here we have, you know, one documented Omicron case that was that was uh, that person had who had died, but not of it, but who had it. Almost all of them are mild versions. And if left alone, will probably build up a natural herd immunity. And yet. This is what's causing this. So if you are like if you're not skeptical of the government, you sure as hell better be now because this is insane. Yeah, the numbers for trust in government are going to go down after this week for sure, including myself. Yes, Um, I (laughs) you've been red pilled. This is ridiculous. (laughs) <laughs> ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. Do you remember what I said last week when the Omicron uh, studies came out and they said it was mild? And I said the White House should have had a press conference and it's said, a- good news, everybody. Yeah, everybody. This is good. We're going to get this behind us. We're going to move on. Instead, it's like all of a sudden the restrictions we have now for a milder strain of the virus. And while all of us have vaccines or options to therapeutics, therapeutics. or we have immunity from having COVID, the restrictions are now more are yes. worse. Than before, and, and, and Biden is is the worst role model because he's walking around. He's like, shouldn't you be if you're tri- triple vaxxed? Don't wear the mask. Tell people right. there's hope at the end of the tunnel. Don't tell them. No, the tunnel keeps going. The tunnel goes forever, Jesse. And it's taking your kids with it. Yeah, no. If they tried to do that to my kids, I'd be one of those parents at the school board hearings getting arrested. Yes. Fox News cameras would have to be there. I I would make a scene just to make sure you guys knew how angry I was. The government has told us to, during this pandemic, don't go outside in the summer, but go outside in the winter. (laughs) How stupid is that? And if we were saying in the commercial break, we don't have gut felt money. We can't buy $1,100 parkas. A lot of the times with our children, you know, we get something off the rack at Macy's and you hope they don't freeze to death. I don't know. It's probably mild in Washington, D.C. right now. What's it like 50, 45? Wait till it goes to 20. Let's see if little Jen Saki's child has the same idea. My children, they have mask breaks at their classroom. I'm fine with that. But I get the feeling that these permanent pandemic power grabbers are going to want to mask our children forever. Mm -hmm. Because when you're an adult and you are nervous and you don't have control over your life, Who do you go to to assert control over? You go to children and you try to control kids. And I'm not down with that. Also, my bakery told me to put a mask on. Uh, My own bakery. bakery? bakery? And I've been vaxxed for months. Uh. He says, oh, I said, well, because I put a mask on. What? When did that happen? The stupid governor overreacting to Omicron. There's like 10 people that died in Manhattan the other day. See, 8 million people in this city, 10 people died. What are we doing? not from Omicron. No, I haven't seen lips. I haven't seen chins. Some guy might have a goatee. I need to know that. You do need to know that, especially (laughs) before you kiss him. (laughs) Harold, uh, as you know, you are evil, uh, being a lawyer. Isn't everything? He's a lawyer? Yes, Harold's a lawyer. You didn't, what? You didn't know I'm, that? I went to law school. You didn't tell me that. Law school, yeah. <laughs> so it, a lot of you, things we haven't talked about. White Denzel Washington. <laughs> would you agree <laughs> that White Denzel is up to shock? Wouldn't you agree that it's this fear of litigation that is driving this kind of zero risk hysteria? But if, if, if we have, if we continue to chase zero risk because we're fear of being sued, like the airlines, we will never get back to normal. That's a that certainly is a factor. I think in all of these things, I, I do think two things. Just point data points. Scott Gottlieb, who I listen to on these things, I think yeah, he's very credible in this. He says that the Omicron's on the rise in Europe. Boris Johnson is is bringing back a lot of the kind of safety and security mandates that they had before. Now, whether I don't, I've not looked into it close enough to understand, but I take him at his word. I think that the White House and government officials locally and statewide, including Governor Hochul, they had to they had to frame this a little differently. This ought to be the Keep Our Economy Strong Act as we think about ways, not mandates, but encouraging people 
to get it. The key is the only way you get a variant is if, if, is if someone doesn't have a vaccine. And that's where the, these variants are growing up and maturing. Now, we don't have fully an, enough data on Omicron. The initial data is great. It's, it's it mild. Immature. I right. would rather get right. the Omicron. Than right. <laughs> I'd rather get nothing. But I'm saying all I think we all would. But all I'm saying is we, the, the data right now is very encouraging. And to your point, Dana, I would have, I would have approached it that way at the White House if, if, yeah. if given the opportunity. You know, uh, Dagan, we're creating two classes of people. I mean, you know, we're dealing with this in this building right now, thanks to the governor. We got zone We've got vaccine zones and non-vaccine zones. And essentially, if you aren't vaxxed, you're not welcome in certain places. And do you know how stupid Kathy Hochul is, the governor of New York, is that she borrowed her game plan or her messaging from Joe Biden, where she's trying to pit the vaccinated against the unvaccinated, like make the va lives of vaccinated so uncomfortable mm -hmm. that they get, what, angry at the unvaccinated? Right. But you're also like... Uh, I think 91 percent of New York ages 12 and up have gotten at least one shot. Mm -hmm. So they're pitting all those people uh, against the few yeah, who have good. been um, who haven't gotten the shot for whatever reason. Maybe they had COVID. Maybe yeah. that's why they didn't have the shot. But it also sends the message that the damn vaccines don't work. Exactly. Well, that's what Joe's doing. So, what were you going to say, Dana? Well, Governor Polis, I think there's cracks in the dam with the Democrats because uh, Governor Polis of Colorado said, that the emergency is over and you yep. can't tell people that they have to mask up. And so perhaps there's a way for Democrats to get behind him. And New York has five times the number of cases per 100,000 in Florida. Yeah. No mask anywhere. Yeah. You want a revolution? Be under the thumb of people who are dumber than you. That's what's happening. Oh, it's happening. <laughs> it's happening. We have dumb people ruining our lives. We have to stop. we got to get control of our lives back or it's going to be another Tea Party and it's going to make the Tea Party look like a Tea Party. <laughs> I don't know where I am.